If Antarctica is seen from the top, it looks like a flat surface. But thanks to the new research from NASA, now we have more information about this continent. NASA has come up with a new map of Antarctica which reveals the peaks, canyons and valleys which are hidden underneath the ice. It is the first time in the human history that scientists are able to see through the ice sheet of Antarctica which has the thickness of more than 5 kilometers. In West Antarctica, scientists have found a canyon in Denman Glacier which is almost as deep as the average depth of the ocean. The shoreline of the Dead Sea has the lowest elevation point on the dry land in the world which is 1,412 feet below the sea level. The land of the canyon found in Denman Glacier is more than 11,500 feet below the sea level, so it is eight times deeper than the shores of the Dead Sea. Previously, many attempts were made to get data points in the region of the canyon, but due to the sight echoes from the walls of the region, it was almost impossible to determine the real bed of the glacier and all the efforts were futile. This time, scientists used a different technique which is called the bed machine. This technique combines the data points from ice flow, seismic activity and radar to determine the more detailed map of Antarctica. This research presents a picture about those areas of Antarctica which are more prone to melting. It also tells us about those areas which are well protected. This will help in the efforts with dealing with global warming. The ice sheet of Antarctica is about 14 million square kilometers containing 30 million cubic kilometers of ice. Antarctica is losing an average of 252 billion tons of ice every year. The most unstable region is West Antarctica, which has the fastest melting glaciers. East Antarctica is a much stable region. NASA has predicted that sea level will rise from 1 to 4 feet by the year 2100 as the sea level is rising at an average rate of 3.4 millimeters per year. If all the ice of Antarctica melts, the global sea level will rise to 200 feet.